Uh, hi everyone, thank you for joining us for eCommerce Espresso today. This is the webinar that is shorter than your coffee break. To keep these episodes as quick and insightful as possible, we don't hold Q&As here. So if you have any questions, please tweet us at LaughtyLionHQ using the hashtag eCommerce Espresso and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, so to jump straight in today, I'm joined by Rianne from Gavalo. Um, Rianne, would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself and Gavalo? Hi, everybody. My name is Rianne Boitler, and I'm the founder and CEO of Gavalo. Gavalo is reinventing the digital gifting experience starting on Shopify. Amazing. Thank you so much. It's really great to have you on board today. And let's just get stuck in with the first question. I'm really excited to hear your thoughts on this one. Um, so okay. gift cards have been giving the reputation of being impersonal. How can online retailers make the gift card giving experience more special? I think that's a really great question because you're totally right, right? Like people think gift cards and you're thinking, oh, okay, oh, is this an Amazon gift card or a Target gift card? And those type of gift cards are impersonal because that's like saying, hey, I assume you're going to like something on Amazon because you're a human and Amazon sells everything as opposed to giving a gift card to a specific brand. So if you know, for instance, if I was like, hey, I know you love aperitifs, I'm going to gift you a gift card to house, but you get to pick what aperitif gets sent to you. And that feels a lot different than getting that giant general gift card. Not to mention when you have a good branding experience, the gift card then wraps the brand, the branding experience is wrapped in the gift card, if that makes sense. So mm -hmm. it's like, oh, well, hey, the email has the brand voice and it has everything to do with it. And, and it also shows that you understand the gift recipient as the gifter because you're giving them something that they want. And maybe it's not, you don't know them exactly, like, or you don't know exactly what they want, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like my mom, for instance, right? She always gets me gift card or she, no, she always gets me stuff. And she's always trying to make me wear not black. Like, and today I actually wore green. So she should be pretty, pretty proud of herself. But most of the time she sends me stuff that's colorful. And I'm like, mom, can I have like a gift card instead? But like, I want it to a specific place. You know what I mean? I want it mm -hmm. to be special and to not just be an Amazon gift card. Cause that does feel like an afterthought. Yeah, no, I completely agree. And, you know, I feel kind of the same way. I think when my mum gives me a gift card for Zara, for example, she doesn't know what I want, but knows I like Zara. And I love exactly. that. And I think that it's really important because I also feel like, right, I can treat myself to something I wouldn't necessarily spend my own money on, which I love. Exactly. And what the interesting part uh, as it pertains to uh, merchants and to making money is there's kind of, well two two things first of all there's like a double dopamine hit right because you're receiving mm -hmm. a gift and you're like yes and then you're like oh now I have money to spend so then yes. you get to spend money people love to spend money but then from a merchant's perspective you on average make fifty nine dollars more per order that involves a gift card yeah, so it's like wow. kind of a win 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 for everybody yeah and I think you know if a customer for example gets a hundred dollars on a gift card it's probably very likely that they're going to increase their basket size with that right um because you're kind of the difference is this is free money so why wouldn't they right exactly who doesn't yeah. want free money everyone <laughs> um <laughs> so i guess you know our second question then is how can gift cards be used to build customer loyalty oh that's a great question uh you, they can be used for so many different things one, one idea that I really love is sending a customer a gift card on their birthday. Send them a $10 mm -hmm. gift card. It's way different than sending a discount code. A discount code is a coupon. Mm -hmm. How many times do we get coupon? You're like, oh, yay, cool, it's a coupon. No, you want to send a gift. Give a gift. Yeah. And it feels completely different. So that's one way to reward customer loyalty using gift cards. Another would be, hey, I see you've ordered 10 times or five times. Or you you did a three hundred dollar order, but you don't have to send the email out right away. You can send it out like two weeks later and say, "Hey, when you ordered this, that remind reminded us of how much we love you as as a customer, and because of that, we want to give you a gift of X." Yeah. So there's a lot of different ways that you can play with that, but I'm very interested in in really kind of finessing that loyalty experience and including gift cards in that process. Yeah, and I think that. It's a really nice gesture for stores 
to give to consumers. It makes them feel valued, again, creating um, loyal customers and increasing customer lifetime value. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and I definitely think kind of off of that point that marketing tactics add value to your brand. So kind of the loyalty points are gift cards or giving loyal customers early access to kind of new product releases is much more effective and positive um, driving that long-term customer loyalty. Absolutely, yes. Fantastic. So um, that kind of leads us on to our third question for you, that unredeemed gift cards are a wasted opportunity to create new loyal customers. How should merchants encourage shoppers to redeem gift cards without feeling pressured? Well, I, I would send them an email, send them a text message, build campaigns around giving seasons that really make sense. Say, hey, you know what? I, to me, especially if it's a loyal customer, right, and you have a a history with them. You can you can use a Clavia flow. You can you can do you know anything really when, when it comes to emails. And you can say, hey, I noticed that you have a fifty dollar gift card outstanding. Last time you were here, you bought a shirt. Mm-hmm. I have the perfect pair of jeans. Right? It's just like you can do recommendations there. You can even do some more value add things there. And I think it's it's really if done properly, it's never going to feel nagging. I mean, yeah. like, I don't feel nagged if you're like, hey, did you remember you have this money to spend? I'd be like, oh, hey, yeah, like I had a bad day today. I have a gift card. Let me spend it now. And so really tri- trickling it out is really wise. And then doing it around certain seasons is probably even wiser, right? Like, yeah. am I going to use a gift card right before Black Friday, Cyber Monday? Well, if you have a sale and I love you, yeah, probably. So you can even say, hey, we're having our Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale on, you know, X day. We're having a Prime Day sale on X day or single sale, sale, right? And then you can say, so don't forget to use your gift card. Yeah. And I think we found, well, we did some kind of digging into the sentiment surrounding discounts. And um, I think 62% of consumers said uh, that Black Friday, Cyber Monday discounts pressure them into making a specific purchase, um, Mm -hmm. which maybe necessarily they don't want so I guess a gift card will remedy that because it's like right we can buy something now I actually want or I don't feel as pressured to do so yeah and you can also do it at a totally different time you can say hey let's skip this like we don't Mm -hmm. even need to engage right there's some brands that just don't do Black Friday Cyber Monday sales they just don't engage with it and so you can say hey like you can do it so many different ways but you can do it quarterly, monthly, however you feel is resonating with your merchant and whatever cadence you see your merchants coming back to you is really where it's going to be good. Yeah, I think that's really important just because I know that I receive a lot of emails daily from people I shop with. So it's so many. Yeah. And it can be very overwhelming and actually a bit annoying. So to get an email that's tailored to you, um, like, hey, you've got money on your your card. Um, that is really important, I think. So, yeah. Absolutely. Because you can also say like, hey, when was the last time you treated yourself? Yeah. Don't forget that you have this blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and it will definitely make customers, consumers more inclined to spend because I know that I am so guilty of that. Oh, me as well. Yeah. As well. <laughs> um, do you have anything kind of else to add on that last point? Kind of just I about, think I guess. So, okay. no, yeah. no. What were you gonna say? Oh no, I was just saying if you don't, that's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, I guess what I just wanted to add to your point was um, the flexibility. I think your gift cards give as well is so important. Oh yeah, absolutely. Letting people, I guess, choose their own story, right? Choose their own adventure mm-hmm. in life is really is really something cool and and it makes people feel special and it makes people feel different and you're not controlling what they're doing and i think that's really important as well it's like yeah you know that they love this but you're not going to say hey i'm going to give you exactly x you're like hey Mm -hmm. i'm going to give you the keys to the store yeah of x yeah (laughs) not the one product yeah no i love that I love that. It definitely gives you just the freedom to spend without restrictions in a in a way. Um, Absolutely. 
Fantastic. But I, unfortunately, Rianne, that is all we have time for today. Thank okay. you so much um, for being today's guest speaker. And if you have any questions, um, either for Gavalo or Loyalty Line, please reach out via email at marketing at loyaltyline.com. Rianne, is there somewhere people watching can reach out for Gavalo? Absolutely. You can reach out to us at hello at gavalo.com. That's at G-O-V-A-L-O dot com. Amazing. Thank you so much again. It was great to speak with you. Um, and I hope to get to see you guys online again soon. Absolutely. See you there. Hi, everybody. And thanks for tuning in to another episode of Ecommerce Espresso. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more of these short but insightful webinars, you can catch all of our previous episodes over on our YouTube channel. Just search for Loyalty Line. Before you go, why not see if you can identify the gaps in your loyalty strategy that are costing you the most with our retention score sheet? You can see how your approach matches up with our downloadable tool over on loyaltyline.com forward slash retention score sheet. That's loyaltyline.com forward slash retention score sheet with no spaces. We'll see you soon for our next e-commerce espresso.